Hello, my name is Rob Powell, and welcome to this short video on how to choose the best name for your blog. Choosing a blog name can be difficult and even stressful. One of the reasons for that is that um, whatever name you choose, you're going to have to live with it for um, a long time. And another reason is that as a, as a beginning blogger, there's a tendency to think that your blog name is going to make or break your blog. Um, that's not actually true. It's the content you put on your blog uh, that matters, um, and that matters much more than the name of your blog or the domain name of your website. But anyway, that's uh, when you're starting out and you're choosing um, a domain name or choosing a name for your blog, um, there's a, there's a tendency to think that there's a lot riding on the name, and so I, I, that's completely understandable. Having said that, uh, there are three characteristics, I believe, of a good blog name. Um, so, number one, it, your, name, your blog name should instantly tell the reader what the blog is about. Number two, your blog name should pass the phone test. In other words, if you told someone the name of the blog over the phone, they'd be able to write it down without you having to spell it for them. And three, your blog, your blog name should provoke a reaction in the reader, um, usually a, a, a humorous reaction or a reaction of surprise. Um, so that's what makes a blog name memorable, is uh, when, when it provokes a reaction in the reader. So there's one obvious exception to these um, three rules or three principles that I've just um, uh, gone through, and that is when you um, when you name your blog after yourself. Um, take for example uh, neilpatel.com, or jeffbullis.com, or michaelhyatt.com, or matthewwoodward.com. So those are all blogs named after um, the person who created them, and uh, there isn't space here to go into the pros and cons of doing that. Um, but uh, the, the two biggest advantages um, in my mind are that uh, firstly, your readers are connecting with a person rather than a business entity. So um, when you name your blog after yourself, it's a little bit easier to establish a personal connection with your readers. And the second thing is that um, when your blog is named after yourself, um, if, if, you, if you change focus over time, if you decide to change the focus of what you write about, it's not going to be a problem um, because your blog is not um, named after a topic or um, a particular niche. So for this video, I looked at hundreds of different blog names and I distilled them down to 15 formulas that people use for coming up with good blog names. And here they are. Number one, use alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the same sound or letter at the beginning of each word. Alliteration is fun and grabs attention. And that's why it's often used in newspaper headlines. Here are some examples of blog names that use alliteration. Savoring Simplicity, that's a lifestyle blog. Katie in Kansas, that's a lifestyle blog. And Words of Williams, that's a personal finance blog. Formula number two is to adapt, to use or adapt a popular saying. Take a popular saying, such as life in the fast lane, and swap out one of the words for your keyword. Here are some examples. Beside the point. That's a finance blog. Life in the bike lane. That's a fitness blog. And two peas in their pod. That's a recipes blog. Formula number three, use a pun. As you know, a pun is a play on words that exploits the different possible meanings of a word or the fact that there are words which sound alike but have different meanings. Here are some examples. Turnip your life. That's a health and fitness blog. Economies of Kale, that's a living on a budget blog, and All Grown Up, and that's a blog on career advice. Formula number four, combine two concepts in one word. Take two words that capture the essence of what your blog is about and put them together to make one word. Here are some examples. 
frugal woods. The two concepts here are living in the woods and budget. Yoga in heels. The two concepts here are fitness and fashion. Zen habits. And the two, con the two concepts there are self-improvement and productivity. Formula number five is your keyword plus the word hacks. Here are some examples. Mind hacks, that's, psychology, that's a psychology blog. Study, hag, sorry, study hacks, that's a study habits blog. And the wallet hacks blog, and that's a personal finance. Formula number six is be purely descriptive. So um, you don't have to be clever with your blog name. And in fact, some of the best blog names are purely descriptive. Here are some examples. Digital Photography School, Wholesome Cook, Blogging Basics 101. Formula number seven, use some slang. Putting some slang in your blog name will give you some street cred, will give your blog some street cred and a dash of humor. Here are some examples. Give me some oven, that's obviously a recipes blog, and I wanna be a blogger. Formula number eight is your keyword plus the word wizard. If your blog is about helping people to do something, wizard is a good word to have in your blog name. Here are some examples. Blogging wizard, lifestyle wizard, and wizard of odds. That's a, a, a blog about gambling. Formula number nine, be humorous. Humor is an easy way to connect with people. So if you can make your blog name humorous, you're off to a good start. Here are some examples. We'll run for margaritas. That's a health and fitness blog. Multiple monstrosity. That's a parenting blog. And I can has cheeseburger. That's a blog about cat memes. Formula number 10. Keyword plus type of person. Keyword plus type or rank of person is a well-used branding technique in the business world. And it'll work for your blog as well. Here are some examples. Blog Tyrant, Yoga Dork, that's a health and fitness blog, and Financial Samurai, that's a personal finance blog. Formula number 11, Drop a Vowel. We're all familiar with brands such as Flickr, Tumblr, Scribed, and Grindr. Dropping a vowel is a way to brand your blog as hip and cool. Here are some examples. Kitchen, Garden Tips, and Fashion Fever. Formula number 12. Eat, Pray, Love, or The Rule of Three. Things that come in threes are known to be catchy, as in Julius Caesar's, Veni Vidi Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered, or the oath used in courts of law, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Here are some blog names that use the rule of three. Eat, run, write, that's a lifestyle blog. Spoon, fork, bacon, that's a recipes blog. And think, save, retire, that's a personal finance blog. Formula number 13, a niche term plus your keyword. A lot of the best blog names simply add a word to your keyword that narrows down your audience to a subset of the main niche. Here are some examples. Nerd Fitness, Workout Mummy, and Stilettos and Green Juice. Formula number 14. Your keyword plus the word Republic. Some of the best blog names add the word Republic to the keyword. Republic implies that you have a very specific audience that sees themselves as distinct from the rest of the world. So this is a good way of identifying with a niche, with a niche audience. Here are some examples. Cook Republic, that's obviously a recipes blog. The Blonde Republic and Travel Republic. Finally, Formula 15 is the word simply plus your keyword. Adding simply to your keyword is another tried and tested naming technique. Here are some examples. Simply recipes, simply cycling, simply a blog. And that's a lifestyle and recipes blog. So that's it. 15 formulas for coming up with an amazing title for your blog. 
But as I said at the beginning, don't stress out about it too much, because in the end, the name of your blog is not what determines success, it's the content you put on your, on your, blog, on your blog site. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.